we're here with Story and Art, uh, a collaboration between the Temiskaming Art Gallery and Early On for June's Story and Art. Uh, this is going to be our last virtual Story and Art as we are reopening the gallery um, probably within the next week or so. So um, we will hope to be bringing folks in, but at this time we're hoping that you'll join us for an art activity at your own house. So watch along, see what you need to do, get inspired, and then join us as we make some bear dens today. Bonjour, aujourd'hui on va uh, créer un bricolage pour uh, une petite ours den, une petite maison d'ours. Uh, et je vais montrer toutes les choses que tu as besoin pour faire ce bricolage chez toi. Uh, ça c'est le dernier virtual story and art, art, um, histoire et l'art, parce que je pense que le prochain mois, on va retourner au galerie. So, ça c'est, uh, on est tellement heureux pour ça, mais on va faire une autre virtual story and art pour toi. Um, et uh, et ça, c'est les choses que tu as besoin. Alors, um, on va commencer avec un um, ballon. So, we're going to start with a balloon. And we're going to need some strips of paper. Des morceaux de papier, j'ai déjà coupé. Ou tu peux juste... Um, you can just tear them. So, this is a good size of paper. Uh, because we're going to be covering a, a curved surface, um, you don't want the pieces too big because then you get lots of corners. So, si le morceau de papier est trop gros, on va voir tous les coins quand tu couvres la forme parce que c'est une, um, une uh, sphère. Alors, um, on va mettre un peu de um, air, on va souffler le ballon. Dane, Leo, you want to try to souffle the balloon? Here, I'm going to give Dane one. Both boys are going to try to blow up their balloon. And when we... Yeah, try. Whoever does it first will use their balloon. We're going to need a container as a base. This just helps hold the balloon steady. And as we put our paste on, our paper mache paste, the balloon can kind of get heavy and tip over. So here's a nice tip. If you put a rock in the bottom of your container, it's going to keep it heavier. So c'est plus pesant si tu mets une roche uh, dans le container uh, pour mettre des ballons pour faire des um, paper mache. Okay, so I'm going to help the boys. Neither of them are successful. Thane's almost got it. All right, donne-moi ça. Laisse-moi voir. All right, so I'm looking for a size about this big because we're going to make a little bear den for our petit raton novel ou peut-être notre petit ours. So we're making, yay, they needed it. Woohoo! Wonderful. Okay, that's good, Thane. That's a perfect size. Excellent. So this is the size we're looking for. Maybe even a little bit smaller. Okay, and it's going to fit my little critters inside. Good job, Thane. All right, so to, you tie off your balloon. Okay, we're going to save that one for later. Air. No, we're not going to make it float in the air because I already put a knot in it. Thing, film that dish. Okay, and what we're going to do, we don't want it to flip flop around. Okay, and actually maybe I'll turn it on its side. So what I'm going to do so that it doesn't move is I'm going to tape it. On va mettre un peu de ribbon gommé. Um, parce qu'on veut pas que le ballon bouge quand on met des, uh, um, comment tu dis, paper mache. Okay, so nothing fancy, I'm just making sure it doesn't move. And now that our form is ready, we can set this aside and we can put together our paper mache paste. So what you'll need for this is a bowl, une bol, a little whisk or something to mix with, flour, okay, all-purpose flour, 
Great. I did it. Okay? And a little bit of water. Un peu de l'eau. Alors, si tu vas faire des, des mixing, des mélanges, I'm going to get Thane. He's got a nice scoop. He's going to take, Thane, you can go on your knees if you need to. He's going to take a couple scoops and he's going to put it into the big bowl. Now, I've chosen a wide bowl um, because when they dip the strips in, it just, your hand fits a bit easier. I'm definitely not going to fill this. So, on besoin juste un petit peu pour chaque, um, for each layer. So, peut-être une autre, Thane. Merci beaucoup. Okay. Je vais bouger ça. I'm going to get that out of our way. Maintenant, Léo, tu commences à mélange thing. Can you pour that water in slowly while your brother mixes? Yes. Yeah, he's ready. Okay, ça c'est beaucoup. All right, Thane. Merci. And then we'll wait and see. And then if he needs more water, Thane, it's just like when we mix the cement, right? So we got to get all the dry spots wet. So while Leo's mixing this, um, paper mache is not a one day activity. The way you do this is you, you do it in layers. So you're going to cover a thin layer and you're going to let it dry. Then you'll come back, you can do this in a couple hours, or you can wait till the next day. You're going to add another layer, and that's where the strength comes from. So if you're not willing to dedicate a week to this project, I'm going to show you another option that we can do after. So that looks really good. Keep mixing, Leo. Thing, can you add a little bit of salt in there? So the salt is going to help so it doesn't get moldy. So if you want to keep this project for a long time, that's great thing. That's good. That's good. If you want to keep it for a long time and it's kind of humid where you are, um, if you add a little bit of salt, it'll keep it from getting yucky. Okay. There are many different variations of paper mache paste and you can use the one that works for you. I've always done it with flour and water. It's very inexpensive, um, and it does work, but you do have to be patient. Okay, that looks really good. Can I try to mix it to see if it needs more water? Est-ce que je peux essayer? Oh, leave it in there so it doesn't make messies. That's pretty good. Wow, boys, you did a great job. So this is what the paste looks like. Okay. Now, you do want to mix it so that there's no lumps. However... You can always squeeze them out while you are while you get your hands in there. Okay, so now I'm going to take these out of the way, and I'm going to bring our balloon back front and center. Okay, Thane, I want you to get nice and close to your brother, because you guys are going to do this together. So you take one piece of paper at a time, I'm in une morceau de papier, you dip it in the paste, then you're going to wipe the paste off, so it's covered in paste both sides, and you're going to put it onto your balloon. So boys, I want you to cover the top half of the balloon. And what I'm going to do, because we're making a bear den, um, it's just, oops, I'm going to move this out of the way and then I'll be right back. Excellent. So on veut que... I want it to be, oh, see, it wasn't wet here, Dud. So you got to kind of make it, wet all the make it wet on the top and on the bottom. So, Leo, uh. so, Thaney, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move your brother over. Okay, I want you to move over. Okay, and when you do that, learn, you should do it over the bowl. So I'm going to put a little assiette there. Things that go on, Look at my hand. All right. So as you can see, um, if you have a
have a little one and they put their fingers in their mouths or whatever, it's just flour and water and a little bit of salt. They're not going to get hurt. Um, yeah. But it is a messy activity. Lots of fun. Great for something that you can do outside. Okay. And um, it's nice when you work on it together. So Laoden is five, five years old. And Thane is eight years old. So it's it's a great activity when you have that older sibling or someone who can maybe help out with a little bit of guidance because for younger ones, paper mache can can still be a little bit difficult. But um, Thane, you got to cover both sides. All right, so I'm going to show them again how to do this. There, Leo. That's perfect. Exactly like what Leo just did. So a dip, get it covered, and wipe off the excess. If it's too wet, it will work, but you're going to be waiting several days between each coat. So yeah, just like that, Thaney. Perfect. Excellent. Leo, just une fois. So you can see where then each having their own balloon would make this craft a little bit easier. But I already started one and we're just showing you one layer on this and then we're going to show you the rest of the art activity. So, alors, c'est plus facile si chaque personne a une balloune toute seule. Mais aujourd'hui, on va juste faire une layer ici. Juste vite pour montrer les, um, comment on fait ça. Et après, on va continuer avec notre bricolage. Pour finir, um, pour finir les, les um, maisons d'ours. All right. So keep at her, boys. Oh, that looks good. So I'm just moving some of the excess paste to where the balloon hasn't been covered yet. Comment ça va, Lil? Then your side looks very good. Okay. So dip, wipe. Cover the whole paper and place it on a new spot. Okay, I'm gonna rotate this just so everyone can see the nice work that Thane's okay. been doing. Okay, Thane, now work on the back side. On a presque fini. We're almost done one layer. Perfect! Good, lad. Okay, a few more, my love. One Excellent, more. Thane. No, more than one. Maybe, you know, to do another. Three or four pieces each, Maybe and then we can three. let it dry. Okay. Excellent work, boys. Oh, yeah. So if there's papers stuck together, you separate them so you're only putting one paper on at a time. Yeah, this is too much paper. Okay, that's great. You're doing very good. Can we do a little bit? Okay. For the next parts, oh. you're going to need to have a base. So a, a hard piece of paper, cardboard works great. And this is where we're going to finish our creation. Oui, tu peux aller laver les mains. I need to, I'm going to keep in adding more. Yep, you can add a few things. more thing and then we'll have to let it dry. I'm so Leo's gone things. off to wash his hands and this is something that you can put, you can wash right into your sink. So it's not like plaster where you have to wash into a separate bucket. Um, you can just wash in your home sink. It's not going to cause any problems. Um, and it's, um, as much as it is something you can do outside, you'll want to bring it in, in between coats to dry properly. Okay. Um, because the, the, um, here, I'll turn it so they can see the, uh, the flower will attract bugs and stuff if you leave it outside, uh, when it's trying to dry. Okay. So Thane. I think what I'm going to get you to do, it looks pretty good there. We're going to leave it like that for the first coat, okay? So can you go 
wash your hands. I'm going to put it off to the side and I'm going to take this out and we'll be right back. Right. We're ready for our next step. So imagine this is a week later and your den is all dry. So I have one den here, okay? And I've actually, it's not 100% dry, but we're gonna pretend it is, okay? Um, it is going to go onto this platform here because you can see it's a nice size, it fits. And I've added some uh, hot glue on it just to make some texture. All right, Thane, so this is gonna be the one you're decorating. So Leo, assis-toi parce qu'on va bouger ton chaise. Okay, and Thaney, unless you'd rather sit, no, you're good like that, Thane, hop up. So this is Leo's. Now here's where I'm gonna show you the alternative. You just wanna do a fast project, you love the idea of making a little bear den, you don't wanna spend a week paper machine, okay? You can get some recycled material. Here's a little styrofoam container. No, on touche pas. Close that. Okay? You can use whatever you have around the house. This one's really great because we can actually just break a little door. On va faire une petite porte pour notre animal juste ici. And you can see I'm just breaking that with my fingers so it has a natural kind of rough edge. Looks more like a rock. Okay, and this is going to be another little den. So this is for Leonin. Ça c'est pour le bébé ours. So Leo has two little ours like that. Now if you don't have little toys like this, um, I've made some really fun little critters out of pipe cleaners in the past, and they would work great. So Leo's baby bear fits in his den. And we also have this wonderful little um, raccoon and petit raton laveur, and this is a really fun toy that uh, the cat and the boys like to play with. And I thought he would fit really nice into this den here. Okay, so these are our little critters that we're making homes for, and we're gonna start by gluing the structures onto their platforms. So we're gonna we're gonna plug in the glue gun. No, I, I wish my raccoon was smaller way here. You wish your raccoon was smaller? Well, we can, what do you mean? You want to use the fluffy raccoon? Um, no. No? Parce que t'es une petite, t'es une petite renard aussi. You have a little fox that would fit. You could make that a fox then. Yeah. I just want a raton Tu veux des Okay, so we're probably going to have to make a raton for Leoden. So what we're going to be doing now is creating a little ecosystem. So I have my hot glue guns warming up. In second, in second. What we're going to be using is we're going to be adding paint. On a des peintures. See, Leo's already playing with his. They just love this kind of stuff. So um, you'll need a paintbrush stain. What color would you like? I have black, white to make gray, and then I also have brown. Tu veux juste les bruns? Okay. So I'm going to put a whole bunch of brown there. Thane's going to start painting his. Oh, oh. It gets clumpy. Okay. And that's just craft paint. So go ahead, Thane. You can start painting and you can rotate your, your thing as you need to. Leo, est-ce que tu veux peinture ça? Tu veux pas que c'est gris? Alright, so Leo's little bear doesn't fit. So here's what we're going to do. We're actually going to start our building process. So I have little sticks, pine cones, smaller pine cones. These are cute because you can make them look like trees. Si tu attaches le um, come on to the pine cone. Meh. How do you say pine cone? Qu quoi? Can you come here so I can hear you? Okay. We also have some bark, some cedar bark. So if you wanted to make a little lean to or a little tent shape, you can use some cedar bark. We have some birch bark. 
we, bad guy, mommy bear. we have some moss. Yeah. And we have some little rocks. So these are all things we're going to add to our habitat. Alors, mm -hmm. une seconde, Léoden. Je vais juste, je vais juste, I'm going to make this taller. On va mettre ça plus haut. So, uh, regarde. We're going to attach some, some, uh, oops. Léoden, qu'est-ce que tu veux? I want some. Tu veux quoi? I want a rock, a small rock. A small raccoon? I don't have a small raccoon right now. We can build one. We can build one, but I didn't bring pipe cleaners. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to make Leoden's house, Leoden's den, uh, I'm going to try to make it big enough that it fits his mommy bear. Okay, so I've added some sticks as a base. And then I'm going to put the little structure, this, on top of the sticks and it's going to raise it up so that the mummy bear fits inside. Attention les doigts, c'est tellement chaud. White glue does work, but it takes a little bit longer. So for our video, we're using hot glue. Excellent, Thane. Very well done. Okay. Et on peut attacher comme ça. Oh, I like it. Little mommy bear can't fit She can't fit in? Yeah, oh, maybe this is here. just baby. Maybe this is just baby bear's den. Den. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Regarde. Regarde. On va attacher plus. So you can see if you don't. Well, animals can kill his baby. They could kill his baby. Okay, we're gonna make it big enough so that mommy fits inside. Um. So you can see I'm just doing a log cabin design. And if you didn't want to use. A den at all, and you only wanted to use sticks. You could make an entire your entire house with just the log cabin. So you can just do the sticks. Merci, le Yeah, just hold it right there because mom's got to put a note baton de cal dedans. Another glue stick. Beautiful. Okay, now let's try it. Can you see if that's going to work on top? Can mommy fit? See if I can mommy fit now. Yeah, you Okay, mommy bear fits. Thingy, that's wonderful. You can fit, but you can't see me because the other guy so Yeah, but we just, butt. we'll put her in backwards. We'll put her in backwards so that her little head pokes out. And then she can be on guard. And you know what? If they're too big for this den, Leo, you can just you put them in Thingy's den, the one that Thane's making. We're just showing people different choices in case they don't have the same stuff as us at home. Alors, um, ça va sécher comme ça. Okay, attention là, parce que on veut que le cal sèche maintenant. Excellent thing. You know what? Je pense que t'es presque fini, thing. Parce que on va... Oh, okay, juste un peu sur cette côté. Just do a little bit on this side. If you don't get the bottom done, that's okay because we're going to put moss around the bottom and little rocks and stuff. Okay, so Leo, we're going to take we're gonna take this away and Leo's going to start decorating. So, tu veux des moss pour commence? Okay. Don't put it all inside because that's where they need to go. We're going to decorate around the outside. Just in pretty seat, If you use it inside, you can see even the it's yeah, so Leo wants to make a comfy bed on the inside. Okay, but we're going to have to put glue to attach it, sweetie. And if you want to make it camouflage, we can put some we can put some of this around it. Do you want it to be camouflage? Yeah. Yeah? All right. Okay, so no, you have to put it you have to put a little bit of glue no, and then attach. No, it's the house. They know it's still a house, yeah, I know, because they can, they have a good sense of smell, right? And they know what's in their habitat. Okay. Okay, est-ce que tu veux des roches ou des pine cones? All right, Thane, so we're going to, Thane, because you're big, what I'm going to get you to do is I'm going to get you to use this glue gun, and you're going to attach the bottom. Is that, is that an okay job for you? Okay, but it's really hot, so just go around this side and then move the whole thing. One 
and do it on the other side. Inside and one. one piece inside? Okay. So Leo's going to put some of his moss inside. Now you want all this in front, so Mom's going to put some glue. Hold on, hold on. And we're going to stick it back down. Okay. What if, Leo, we're going to use this and we're going to put it so it looks like an un petit arbre à côté. Okay. Like that. And then do we want one on top? Like a little point on the house so they know where their house is? Uh, and, and, and no, just that okay? No, if they, and, no, the animals don't smell them if they're far away, but if they see it, it they will the even know thing. it's a bear house. So they, I don't okay. want it. Okay, you don't want it there. Okay. Est-ce que tu veux mettre des roches à côté? Uh, oui ou non? Roches? Let's make it look out. Okay, you see? I know how to make a lookout. A lookout? Oh, you're going to make a lookout. Okay, do you want the other rocks then? I need all the rocks. Okay, you just used all the moss and then all the rocks. Dane's not going to have any materials to use. Yeah. Right on top of the moss. So this um, project is specifically... Uh, Leo, ça c'est trop de rush. Mom, I'm out of a hot glue. You're out of hot glue? Here. Um, this is one of those exercises that you can really get into texture with your little ones. So I've selected a bunch of different materials that have a, a really nice tactile um, quality to them. Did you do a look out at Dane? Okay, we'll let him decide where he wants to put it. So um, this is something if you're if you're working on sensory stuff, you're working on um, language, words to describe different textures. This is a great activity to do where you make a little panorama or a little habitat for a creature and you get all sorts of materials, natural materials that have different feelings to them. And you can describe those with your kids. Um, for a lot of kids, the sensory element of doing paper mache itself is a new experience and that can be really fun because it's that ooey gooey kind of messy type of craft. So Leo's just going to town with his little creatures, so I'm going to just let him play and I'm going to leave it the way it is and we're going to focus on Thane's a bit. So but Thane is going to start adding some materials. I don't know how to get inside, but the, bear, the mommy bear knows how to get inside. Perfect. It, it, this is how the mommy bear goes inside. Okay, show me. Perfect. This is the door. How many babies do the mommy bear have? One. One. Okay. Oh, that's nice. All right, so Thane, what kind of materials would you like? Would you like mom to get some more moss this, for you? No, this is a baby uh, pathway. This is a baby pathway. This is a baby pathway. Do you want to cut this piece, or are you going to use the whole this piece? Is a baby pathway. Because this we have these scissors, pathway. you can use these scissors. This is a baby pathway. This is a mommy pathway. We can use scissors to cut this into different pieces. You don't want to sculpt it at all? Okay. So, Meme, can you take this out of the way because Thane's done painting, please. <gasps> Ooh, une petite ours en palaire. Thane, dis, qu'est-ce que tu veux et je vais donner. Je veux le... Des, des si. pommes de... What are these called? Pommes de pain. Pommes de pain. Okay, Thane va utiliser les pommes de pain. Ça aussi, s'il vous plaît. Il, il est deux. Quoi d'autre? Parce que je veux, je peux chercher plus de, de moss. This is a, this is a moss. This is you a want some moss? Bear. Okay. This is a squirrel. Aww. Is a All right. So this I'm going to slip daddy. out for a sec because I'm going to grab some moss for Thane. This is a small daddy. This is a small daddy? Okay. So okay. If this guy comes in this way, yeah. he can get the, the mommy protective. Oh my gosh. And, and she has a wall here so she can't come here. Oh, excellent. Cette activité est parfaite uh, pour les enfants, enfants pour explorer des tex textures um, et aussi il y a beaucoup de uh, plaisir après pour jouer avec, uh, avec ton petit um, création. Alors, on est presque fini. Um, je vais juste laisser mes enfants um, jouer un petit plus. 
Et, et après, um, je vais montrer une photo de le uh, fin, final, finalement. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let these little guys um, enjoy their uh, creative process. And what I'll do is I'll take photos of their final works and share it with you. So, just a quick glimpse of what we have here. This is Leo Den's little... Oops! Une seconde, Léo s'est attaché un peu. This is Léo Den's little recycled and found object well, you know den what? that he has made. And he is enjoying the play very much. Um, and this is Thane's really lovely paper mache, beautifully textured house. He's still working on that, but you can definitely see the potential there. That